Hello, Prince County students. Your courses have appeared in your Canvas dashboard. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can rename them, reorder them, and use the organizational tools of Canvas. So step one, we've got to log into Canvas. And the easiest way is by going to canvas.pwcs.edu. It's going to ask us to log in with our Prince William County email. Remember that is pwcs edu period org. I'm going to log in as my daughter, Abigail. And when I log in, it's going to show me all of my courses here on my dashboard. It's going to show me any upcoming announcements or assignments. If there's any feedback on any grades or assignments that I've submitted, and then I can see my grades here. My courses might be in a random order and some of my courses might not appear on the dashboard. So to make sure all of my courses appear, I'm going to go to courses, all courses. Throughout the year, as you join clubs and teams, you'll need to go back here to courses and make sure you star the course so that it appears on your dashboard. If there's a course that you want to leave off your dashboard, you leave it unstarred. It saves automatically, and now you can go back to dashboard. You can also rearrange these. So you can rearrange these in the order of your even day and odd day schedule. So, for example, if I was my daughter, her first class is Earth Science, followed by PE, and ending the day with Sign Language. That is her even day. If I was to go with her odd day, it starts with English, followed by Math, going with Choir, and ending with History. To help me know this, I could three dots and I could rearrange this. So I could solve the, call this Earth Science, period two, and I could pick my favorite color. I could re rename these for all of my classes. If I want to color code these based on the day or just based on my feelings, I add these in. And so now I can see two, four, six. This is what I have. And then on this one, And so now I can see on my odd days, I have one, three, five, seven. Again, this is all saves automatically. If you don't see it at first, just go ahead and refresh. If it looked like it didn't save, just go ahead and refresh it one more time. And then they all saved. The next feature I want to show you is the calendar. Now that I've renamed these, this becomes really easy when I go to the calendar. You'll only see 10 courses on your calendar and they might not all be selected. So make sure you go over here and you select your courses. When you select them, they'll appear on the calendar if there's an assignment due. So for example, on the 10th, identify poems homework is due. If I wanted to add myself a reminder, I could add myself a reminder on the 9th at say 2.50 that I need to go ahead I need to go ahead and I need to study for identify the poems homework. If my teacher is using the office hours by appointment in the canvas calendar feature, I can click where it says find appointment. I can select my course and then I can select my available office hours. So for example, if I wanted to meet with Ms. Castellano the day before my homework is due, I could click here on this Wednesday and I could type in my name and reserve a slot. And so that is the basics of how you can rename, rearrange, and use the organizational tools of Canvas. Well, let's say on the first day of class, I want to know where do I go for my Zoom link. So I click on my first class tomorrow, and up here I see there's an announcement at the very top, and it says click here to join my Zoom link. I can also go through the class and see if there's anything that the teacher has left, anything that I need to know and be prepared for on the first day, for example, going right to the modules. If it says that I don't have access, don't worry. That just means that the day hasn't come for me to be able to see this. And so there's a quick overview of the canvas from the student perspective. Thanks for watching.